when my balloons pop? What if we could make an unpoppable balloon? Welcome again, everyone, to Science Girls Home Lab. I'm excited to show you science activities that you can try at home with the items around you. Let's get started on today's poppin' experiment. You need at least two balloons, a candle, safety glasses, a lighter, and some water. Now for today's activity, you need to be able to be safe. We are using a candle and that is a fire hazard. Make sure that you have a fire extinguisher handy and also adult supervision. Take your balloon and fill it up as much as you want. And then tie it off. Now what you're going to do is you're going to light your candle. Make sure you have your safety glasses on and adults in the room. Now we have a beautiful burning candle and a beautiful balloon. Let's mix them! What you're going to do is that you're going to hold the balloon from the top, you're gonna stretch out your hand, and you're gonna lower the balloon over the flame. balloon unpoppable. What you need to do, you need to go to the sink and fill it up with some water. Now that you have your balloon with some water in it, go ahead and blow it up as much as you want. Aha. Go ahead and again light your candle. And we're going to do the same thing. However, we're going to harness the power of water to make this balloon unpoppable. And you're going to lower the balloon over the flame, making sure that the flame hits the water part of the balloon. Not out here, but down here. And, oh, I am touching the flame and it's not burning. But look, there is black soot on the bottom of this. The reason the flame does not pop the balloon is that the heat cannot melt the rubber. The water on the inside of the balloon is keeping the rubber cool. I hope you guys had a great time with this experiment. I want you to get out there, try it yourself, be safe, and go be awesome. Bye-bye, guys.